I'm getting a green screen every time I try to install graphics card. Works fine for a while and randomly crashes. I'm just done with trying. Brand new with box. NXZT case. NXZT? Ooh, those are limited edition. I don't think they make NXZT cases anymore. <laughs> Sponsor of today's video is Leave! The sponsor of today's video is Filmora. Filmora is a video editing software that looks like the savior I've been looking for. For those of you that don't understand, the software that I use and that many other editors use is very frustrating for two reasons. They cost too much each month to use and it crashes very often no matter how strong your PC is. Filmora is a pretty straightforward editing software that I've been experimenting with, and from what I understand, the tools to make a top tier video are here. For someone who's just getting started or is interested in learning video editing, this is definitely the software to learn on. And for someone like me who has been into editing for about 10 years, this is definitely usable software for myself. My favorite part about this software though is that it is actually only a one-time payment of $60. There is no recurring monthly fee every single month, super expensive, that crashes on you during 40 hour edit. Anyways, give Filmora a try. Their software is pretty straightforward, but there are plenty of tutorials on the internet if you wanna get more in depth on how to use what they provide. Like I said before, it is pretty straightforward with the effects and transitions tab, giving you plenty of options to create a video unique to you or your channel or whatever it is you're trying to make. I think it's a software that you're gonna enjoy how to use. I know so far, I've actually liked it quite a bit. With that said, let's get back to the video. Okay, FX 6300 gigabytes RAM, one terabyte. Ooh, how much? Ooh, ooh, wait, that's that's not bad. Hello, my name is Chris Free, and today we're gonna be buying a broken computer off of OfferUp, and then try to do something a little special with it. And by special, I mean make money. So unfortunately, right now, with coronavirus affecting pretty much everything, especially here in the United States, it's been nearly impossible to try to find anything on OfferUp, Craigslist, or Facebook Marketplace. No one wants to meet up, and with good reason. However, not only are people not wanting to meet up, no one is posting anything online and this is the closest thing that I can find to being something worth purchasing. And to be honest, it's not entirely a bad buy. It looks like, from what I can tell, a very low, barely medium, but more on the low end gaming PC. And for $150, that leaves us a lot of space to flip it and make some cash. Now, obviously, if you scroll down here, the guy says that every time he tries to play with the graphics card, it works for a little bit and then it crashes, which makes me think there might be something loose in the card and that we might be able to fix it in kind of a weird way, or we might have to replace it all together and then make that money by selling it. Now, if you do know computer parts fairly well, you understand that these parts are pretty low end and flipping this might be a little bit difficult. However, difficult does not mean anything to me because while this guy says the price is firm on $150, obviously I'm not gonna take him super seriously and I'm gonna try my best to uh, see what I can do. <laughs> I wonder if this dude's gonna freak out just because I have the mask and the gloves. I'm not even kidding. I went to my grocery store the other day and just because I was kind of Asian, this dude straight up walked all the way around me. Hello, how are you? Do you mind if we uh, take a look at it first? Yeah, sure. Okay, absolutely. Cool. Yes, everything's kind of brand new except for the main board and everything. Okay. I gave up, I, okay. <laughs> I got an Xbox and I gave up on Oh, so you moved a console, okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it works. Sometimes it works for like an hour. For 10 minutes. Right, so you're saying like a green screen and you have to turn off everything and turn back on. Oh my gosh, it's really stuck in there. Oh, okay. So you're saying what happened was is the graphics card sometimes just goes green? green? I think it's the graphics card. Mm -hmm. I, I was using like a really whatever right. graphics card and it was working fine. Okay. And then I got this Air RX 5. 60, yeah, and it started giving me this weird. Yeah, let me grab the bottom. There we go. Okay, so you're and saying this is an NZXT case? Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's the like. Okay, NZXT Source 210. Okay. 
and got it, got it. I know there's some random cards that can, doesn't work, but sometimes they can play for like, like right. an hour. And then what happens? It, it just turns green. It just ever. turns green. The screen, or what yeah, happens? Yeah, like solid green. Okay. And so would you be able to do it one thirty or no? Nah, I would do one fifty. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. We got a working PC, supposedly. Uh, we're gonna test this graphics card and see how bad it really is and see if we can make it do the green thing that he's talking about. And uh, I don't know, if it does work, then we got an easy flip for some cash. And uh, if it doesn't, we gotta figure out what to do with it. Okay, after burning my clothes and washing every crevice of my body, we are back. Why did I leave Twitch alerts off? We are back inside quarantine with the PC and obviously the main issue, like we said before, is that this thing apparently has the potential to green screen. Which after an hour of gaming is definitely a really bad thing. So we're gonna turn this thing on, we're gonna run Windows, and we're gonna try to get some games going and see if we can recreate that issue. Okay, I know the computer looks like it's about to fall over and if it does, cool. More content for you guys. Let's get this thing turned. Oh! Oh, this is in Portuguese. Oh my God. The computer sounds like it's about to take it. Oh, okay, we just gotta fix it, it's fine. It is a working system, that's for sure. Uh, it does only have Windows 7, which might be a turn off for some people. I don't think it's too big a deal, but let's install something simple and see if we can get it to Recreate. Okay, but actually the more I'm listening to the sounds of this computer, well, just of the hard disk drive, I think that whoever buys it is going to message me immediately afterwards and be like, hey, why does it sound like something is dying inside of here? And uh, that's fair because honestly, anytime you hear any kind of, you know, coil whine or any kind of rattling inside an electronic device, it's not comforting at all, especially when you bought it secondhand. So we're gonna see if we can do something about that. If not, like money. Oh man. Uh, you see these WinRAR files on here? Oh, this dude was torrenting. No, no, no. That's illegal. All right, so we're gonna let this thing finish installing. I'll be right back. Okay, so it looks like the game is downloaded. Now let's play. One eternity later. If you've never watched one of my videos before, this is the reason why I say all the time to get a solid state drive instead of a hard disk drive. Anytime you have a hard disk drive. And you know, this could be an exception because maybe this one has been written on, <laughs> not written on it. Maybe this has been rewritten a million times and the drive is just slow at this point because all hard disk drives are not always this slow, but this is what you will eventually run into if you're running games and operating systems off of a hard disk drive. So if you can try to squeeze an SSD in your system. Okay, let's do this. FPS on, oh wow, what is this? For Valorant on basically, let's see, video. 1920, oh these are all low settings. Okay, so on low settings, I am getting 120 FPS it looks like. For a $150 PC, that's pretty, ah! Oh, wait, I'm cracked. Okay, whatever. Um, this is actually super playable. An RX 560 with an FX 6300, this is not bad at all. I thought this would be a much worse experience. Okay, so I've put up the ad for the PC and it's been two days and we had multiple people reach out and our asking price was $300. Not bad, 100% profit on a quick buy. All I had to do was optimize a few things for the computer, everything works. The thing is, a lot of people reached out and some people offered a lot higher than $300. Well, not a lot higher. I would say 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks higher because people really want a computer. Now there was one person in specific who reached out who I think might be someone who I think needs it the most. So we're gonna take the computer over to them right now and we're gonna go ahead and try to make our money back. Okay. Hello, Javier, right? Yeah. Chris, nice to meet you. So this is the computer, I set it back to all its factory settings with the cable. Sure. Can I ask you, what are you, so what did you need the computer for? I was just curious. Uh, 
Just we'll play games. Yeah, play yeah. games. How has quarantine been treating you with the, everything that's happening? Uh, <laughs> it's tough. It's crazy, yeah. yeah. Have you been able to get any work or anything like that? Mm -mm. No work. No. I see. So you want to basically what you're saying is you want a game while while we still wait for everything to clear up. Just game? Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to help set up the PC for you or do you need help or? No, it's okay. It's okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, here is the computer. So, uh, if you want to test it first, it's up to you, but you know. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah, if you have any problems or any issues or if you want to learn something, just let me know. Okay, uh, just give me a second. Okay, no problem. Yeah, it's not good. I'm testing tomorrow. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Yeah, perfect. So, uh, you said you haven't been able to get any work? Hmm? No work during Corona? No. No work? Alright. Well, why don't we do this? Um, no problem, I have a check for <laughs> Donald Trump. What? Why don't you keep it? Seriously, if you can't get any work and you know you just want a game to keep yourself busy, why don't you just keep it? Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I know, I know, I know. Times are tough, and to be honest, when I put the PC up, yeah, whoever whoever wanted to get it, I was just gonna give it to him because I know that right now with Corona being the way that it is, everyone's losing their job, no one can make any money. It sucks. Yeah. And I and whoever gets it, I just I hope you have a good time with it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Keep really, it. thank you, buddy. Yeah, dude, yeah. no problem. I'm calling you when I finish Corona. Yeah. Really. For sure, dude. No worries. <laughs> have a great night, man. Yeah, Later. Did you guys really think I was gonna hustle some poor dude three hundred dollars for that PC? Absolutely not, dude. I'm scammer, but I'm not that bad. But be honest with me, I'm actually curious because COVID is affecting a lot of the pricing. Would you guys have paid $300 for that PC? Let me know in the comments. I'm actually curious about it. No, so the reason I actually intentionally sold that PC to Javier because there are actually a lot of people trying to buy the computer because there's definitely a supply issue right now for technology in America. He left his Facebook profile page public and I went through all the people who were trying to offer me and he put on his page that he had lost his job and apparently went through a bit of a breakup recently and um you know i figured who better to surprise you know like a little gift with or give try to give someone a break you know than someone going through a tough time because you know we're all going through a tough time right now this sucks you know people are losing their jobs people can't see their friends or family some people have lost some of their family you know including myself and uh i will make a, a future video about that but i get it like this is a really really not fun time and i want to try and spread a little bit of positivity because people need it even if it's just one person, people need some positivity right now. So anyways, I hope you guys found this video creative, entertaining, or informative in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to go play Valorant for like 24 hours. On stream, by the way, come check it out. <laughs> and as always, have a great day.